Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. In the last episode, I overclocked some RAM. I changed cable colors for customers' PC cables. And finally, I added a motherboard water block and added a water cooling loop to their case. If you missed that episode and you want to go back and check it out, I will put a link up in the upper right hand corner so you can do so. Let's hop into the email and see what we got going on here. So we've got an overclock one. Oh yeah, there was one that we need a solid five stars for that we don't have. We'll take a look at that one in a minute. I think it's the next one down. Let's read this one though, because I'm sure we can make this one happen. It says, can you help me out with something? I'm wanting you to overclock my PC. The CPU can definitely hit 5,050 megahertz. Can you overclock it for me? Let's overclock the GPU to 1,745 megahertz. Can you finish that before 12, 7, 22? My PC has been hot lately. Can you do anything about that? That Union Jack theme looks cool. I'd love it if you could apply that. So they've got a few things they want done. They want their CPU and GPU both overclocked. Sounds like their PC's running hot, so that could be a dust or a fan curve issue. And finally, they want a Union Jack theme applied to their case. I'm sure we can make all of that happen. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Then this next one down requires a solid five-star rating on Bongle. I don't know. I mean, if you look up here, it looks like I have five stars, but if you go to the Bongle app, you can see there's a little sliver, just a little sliver there of not quite five stars. This job doesn't have to be done for eight days, so maybe we'll let it sit here in the email and see if I can hit a solid five stars in the next eight in-game days. So moving on from that one, this one's a diagnose and fix. Let's read this one. It says, hey there, Joe here yet again. Okay. It's really bad now. The heat on the PC is intense. I'm pretty sure it's something much more serious this time. Something big. Can you work your magic again and see what the problem is? I managed to deliver the big order, but I have to invoice them, hence the urgency. They ordered cupcakes decorated like Benzie cartoon characters. It was the perfect job. Hey, maybe I can make some tiny PC-shaped cupcakes. I'll work on that. Look forward to getting the PC back. Thanks for your help. Bake on. Burn none. Joe. So Joe wants us to diagnose and fix what his serious heat issue is. He's got a part budget of $240. Have no clue what that's for. None whatsoever. So, I mean, it could be this terrible cooler he has here. Low profile coolers sometimes are the worst. And this one, I think he said he had sitting out in his bakery or something like that, where the heat is evidently quite warm. So we may need to put a new cooler of some sort on there. He's also got dual 980 Ti gaming graphics cards. Don't know why. Don't know why. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Then what we can do, since we don't really know what we need to order for this one, this one doesn't need anything ordered. We can go end our day and we can get things in and we can try to figure out what's going on with stuff. Let me turn off the lights. Let's end the day, we'll get stuff in, we'll get to work. Ah, oh, it's a new day. Birds chirping. Let's get the lights on. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with these different things. This one wanted a Union Jack theme. Let's do that first because I always forget about painting and themes. So let's do this. Union Jack. Where is... Union Jack theme. Oh, zipped right past it. He didn't say he wanted the monochrome one. He said he wanted straight up Union Jack. So, do you think he wants it on the glass? Uh, I don't think so. I think that looks nice not being on the glass. I think that looks real nice. Okay, so moving on. Let's put this thing on a workbench. Let's pull up the tablet because there was something else he wanted too. There was something else. Uh, Union Jack theme. Oh, PC running hot. PC was running hot. I don't know if we need to replace cooler or what. We will, we will find out. Let's see. Let me power it on. And I want to hop into the BIOS. Because we need to overclock anyway, but I don't want it to fully start up. I just want to see... All the fans seem to be spinning. So we may just need to adjust the fan curve. 
may just need to adjust the th fan curve. So let's start off with overclocking the CPU. He wants that at 50, 50. <laughs> so there we go, 50, 50. I mean, that's not much of an overclock. Probably don't even need to bump the voltage, but let's go ahead and bump it to 1.4 volts. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that should be fine. Okay, okay, well, let's apply these changes. There we go, and restart. And then we'll get OCCT on here. We'll make sure that's stable, and then we will overclock the graphics card and figure out what's going on with maybe his fan curve. All right, so before we can do anything, before we can do anything at all, I need a USB drive in here. Oh, no, where, where can I put this? There we go. There we go. So, what we need, what we need, let's do 3D Mark, just because it's a decent test for when you overclock GPUs other than OCCT. Let's also do GPU Tuner. And then we're also going to do, man, this is, this is a nice slow hard drive he's got here. We're also gonna do OCCT because I wanna run this anyway since we overclocked the CPU. I wanna just do a quick OCCT run, make sure we don't get any blue screens. And then somewhere down here is fan control. Let's put that on too. We're just, we're gonna install the entire suite of things that we might need. That way it's just all done. Come on, you can do it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so first I just want to do a quick OCCT run since I overclocked the CPU from 5000 megahertz to 5050 megahertz. I just want to make sure we're still running nice and cool and not blue screening or any of that fun stuff. Looks like we're doing all right. About 7879C. That's no big deal. Should be good on that. Okay, so that is done. That is done. Let's do fan control next. What do we have? What do we have here? Custom fan curve. It's on balanced. So we could go performance. We just do performance for everything. Oh, yes, I want to apply the changes. Let's see. Performance. Apply. Let's go down here. Performance, apply. Apply. Oh, you, you can, okay. I was wondering if you could select multiples. It seems like it's taking a lot of time to click each one individually, and I just figured out that I can by doing that. So, but they're all set on performance now anyway. So we should be good to go on that. Case sensor... Oh, I can't change from the case sensor. GPU fan, that's set for GPU sensor. Why is this here if you can't change it for anything? <laughs> oh my. Okay, so hopefully some fan curve action will fix his running hot problem. Now we need to overclock his graphics card to 1,745 megahertz. So let's do that. GPU tuner. We're just going to go all the way up with core voltage. And we need to go to 1,742, right? 43, 41, 42. Oh, 45. Not 42, 45. What am I doing? 1,745. Yes. Okay, so we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. We'll leave that up, and I want to go ahead and start up OCCT. We'll let this do another quick run, because the graphics card is now overclocked. I'm not going to, it didn't say anything about memory clock, just said core clock. So we're going to let this thing run, and hopefully we're going to be good. Almost done. 
Okay. So there we go. There we go. I do want to go ahead and run 3D Mark just because generally that's a good test to run after you've overclocked a graphics card. But I'm not going to make you sit through this because it takes a little bit. So I'm going to step away. And as soon as this is done, if it blue screens or something like that, I will come back and show you. But as soon as it's done, I will come back and we will finish this job up. All right, there it is. No blue screen, no problem like that. Not a very impressive score, but, you know, you know, <laughs> we won't talk about that. I think this is all done. I think it is. It sure looks nice. Hopefully the fan curve helps with the cooling issues. So let's grab this sucker up and we will go place this in the delivery area. So now we've got this one that we need to diagnose and fix. We're not entirely sure what's wrong with it. Oh, this is the one that has all the, the banana stickers all over it. Uh, let's see. Diagnose problem. Well, let's try powering it on. Fan. I mean, there's... Huh. So... I mean, he has a serious lack of fans. I mean, there's no top fan. Well, I guess there is a front fan, but another front fan wouldn't hurt. And possibly even some top fans. Let's take a look at the front of this. Yeah, just the one fan. So it's is it just an overheating problem? Diagnose and fix. The heat is intense. It's intense, man. Let's open up this thermal app. I mean, those VRMs are a little warm. Not terrible. I mean, I would think, I mean, that's, that's just plain old hot. Those are some hot VRMs. I would think some fans would fix that. So we do have a parts budget with this of $240, which we could replace this CPU cooler with something better, maybe even a downdraft one. Uh, we could also put in some fans up here in the top and maybe even another one of these in the front. What type of fans were in this? Are they just the plain old Mortonis? Oh, they're Fractal Design GP12s. Uh, we could order some of those. We could definitely order some of those. Oh, not install. I want to go back here. Shop. Let's go to case fans. We'll do GP. Okay, we can't buy those. <laughs> yeah, we can't buy any Fractal Design fans. Okay, that's good to know. That's that's good to know. I guess we could just get some more Tony ones. I guess the real question is, I think these are just 120s. Yeah, they look like 120s. So let's, let's get three of those. And then maybe a CPU cooler. I was thinking something like maybe a downdraft one. That would help cool those VRMs, you know, like something like that. Uh, they make better ones. I just don't know if I have access to them yet. There's what he's got now. That thing's terrible. 40 CFM. Get out of here. Get out of here with that garbage. Um, yeah, I just, I don't have access. I don't think this is, 
I don't think still I don't think I have access to the full catalog of things to buy. I don't know if that's going to sit up high enough. It's 45 bucks, 45 CFM. This one's 50 CFM. All right, well, let me step away for a minute. Let me see if I can figure out what I want to buy here, and I'll be right back. All right, so let's try this Arctic Freezer 34 Esports in gray. I'm going to do same-day delivery because, well, why not? Why not? It'd be nice to see if this fixes the problem. So let's go ahead and buy this now. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, we can always order some more parts. Got money in the bank, so let's try this first. Let's try this first. So, let me power this down. Case fans, we've got some more Tony Heataways. Hopefully these will help. Put those there. Hopefully we can get some of these up in the top. Two, can't get one there. Not without removing this cage. That's all right, we will keep one in the inventory. It's not a big deal. Let's get this cooler out of here and hopefully this other cooler that I purchased will fit. We do need some fresh, oops, would help if I cleaned off the old first. <laughs> All right, let's get all of this cleaned off of here. There we go. And then, let's get some fresh thermal paste on. Excellent. And let's get the new CPU cooler on. Got this Arctic Freezer 34 Esports Edition. Well, the PC can boot. So we still have a heat problem and we still haven't fixed this. So I'm wondering if maybe since these caps or the VRMs are overheating, if maybe we just need to replace this motherboard? It's worth a try. It's worth a try. So let's go here, go into the shop. I've already pulled it up here. It's 240 bucks. It's this EVGA Z270 for the Win K. So maybe let's go ahead and purchase that. Well, let's do same day delivery again. Why not? We're spending money, we may as well spend it all. So that's here. Let's go grab it and we will see if maybe replacing the motherboard fixes the issue. We're just going to keep wasting money until we figure it out. That's for sure. That's for sure. Because that's what I like to do. Waste some money. Let me power this down. I'm going to take these fans back out because this motherboard is at the limit of their budget for this repair as well as this. They're not getting this. We'll save those things for another job. That's not really an issue. I don't mind having some stock in parts. I want this come out. There we go. Get everything out of here. including the motherboard, and then maybe we'll see if that fixes the issue. There we go. Graphics card out. Other one out. And get everything unplugged. Okay. This motherboard can come out of here. Let's hop in here. Let's take a look. Motherboards. So theirs does say faulty. So yeah, it wasn't a fan issue at all. So we'll just hold on to those fans for another job. That's fine. It's not really a big deal. Let's grab the new one. 
and get it installed. There we go. Let me get this thing ready for their CPU and all these four sticks of RAM. Uh, no, 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 no. You know, in the old game, you could push escape and it would stop doing whatever it was doing. This game, if you accidentally misclick, it just keeps on going. It just keeps on going. There seems to be no way, I've figured out no way to stop it from uninstalling a part if you accidentally click. So there we go. Everything's ready. Let's get their RAM. We'll get that installed. Then we'll get the CPU in. We'll put their little dinky crappy cooler back on. I still I still think they need a better cooler. Still think they need a better cooler, but it's not in their budget. It's just not in their budget. Okay, so we need some thermal paste. There we go. And we will get their little CPU cooler. Done. All right, graphics cards. There we go. And we should be ready just to cable everything up. And that fixed it. Now, they may have had a faulty motherboard, and that's all fine and good, but I still think they need some more fans and a better CPU cooler. But that is just me. That is just me. I'm going to let this thing boot up. Actually, I'm going to hop into the... No, it won't let me hop into the bio, so I didn't click over on the screen. <laughs> let me get some of these parts put back on here, and maybe we will go hop into the BIOS. I don't know um, if they had XMP turned on or anything. So let's power this down. Let's power it back on. Hop into the BIOS. And we'll see. Yes, we'll turn XMP on for them. And we'll reboot this thing again just to make sure everything boots up. And then we should be done. Very nice. Okay, let's go put this in the delivery area. And then we should be able to collect money for both of those. Was there anything else we needed to do on this one? No, just the diagnose and fix. Let's let's do this here. So, the one we just did. Five stars. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, we're still waiting on that one. Here's the overclock one that we did first. Five stars. My CPU is running way above normal and my PC is running a lot cooler. Very nice. Very nice. We also ranked up, so let's delete that. Okay, let's come in here. Let's take a look here. 4700 megahertz DDR4 RAM, multicolor cables, RTX 4090, PNY M.2 SSDs and the X570 chipset motherboard and Rocket Lake processors. Here's other parts that are available. It's a huge list. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Let's delete that. An RTX, a 2080 Ti amp from Zotac. Broken PCs. So we've got to remove viruses. We've got a customize. And what the heck is this? DJ Computer Command. Initiating gratitude routine 100%. Thank you for your assistance. I now understand how easily humans can be manipulated. Your help is no longer necessary. The human known as J has been deleted. Starting playlist, Destroy Humanity, please. Now playing Murder Party by DJ Computer. Oh my, DJ Computer is going off the rails. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So we've got this one and this one. We can probably get both of these done in this episode. And then we'll probably end the episode after that. This one says, hi, my computer is acting weird. I have no idea how I could have gotten a virus. Could you maybe paint the case pink? I could do with the document reader on this PC. Can you handle that, please? Why, yes, we can do all of those things. Pete's big green machine. Hiya, love. You did a smashing job with that computer. We've already had compliments from the customers. Angie Lennon's been coming to QT Cuts for the last 15 years, and she was well impressed. Said her son's been after something similar for his gaming hobby. More like an obsession, if you ask me. So I said I'd have a word with you about it. 
Her Peter is a big fan of nature, and he loves those flight simulators or whatever it is they're called. Think you could cover his case with a cloud theme or something? I can drop by with the computer later today if you've got time. Cheers, Francis. So apply a cloud theme to the case. Done. We will do both of these. Let's go end the day. We can get these in, and we can get these jobs done. All right, it's a new day. It's a new day. Let's turn the lights on. So this one was remove viruses, but they also wanted something. Was it pink? Paint the case pink? Was it paint the case pink? Let's see. Yeah, paint the case pink and document reader. We can do both those things. Spray paint. Um, let's not do it on glass right yet. Let's do that. And that looks like pink to me. Get some pink paint going on. There we go. There we go. I'm going to leave their glass unpainted because there's no percentage there saying that we haven't done what needed to be done. So let's get... USB drive installed and power this on and hop into the BIOS real fast just to see if they need XMP, which they did. They were leaving some performance on the table. Let's go ahead and reboot this sucker and hopefully remove viruses and install document reader. So add remove, so we've got the virus scanner. Let's get that going on there. And then document reader. Can we install two things at once? No, but here we go. Okay, virus scanner, start scanning. There we go, 362, not too bad, but enough to probably be irritating. Let's get those cleaned up. Get those off of there and the whole nice Clean, protected computer. Okay, so that one's done. That was quick and easy. <laughs> Let's go put this out here. And then this other one, we just need to put a cloud theme or something on. And we'll get some quick money from this. So let's see. Clouds. Water, water, ocean, water drops. Clouds. Okay. Boom. Clouds. Done. That job's done. Was there anything else we needed for that one? Nope, just clouds. Just the clouds. All right, let's collect some money. Let's take a look. Let's just delete that thing. I don't know what this is. Let's take a look here. Here we go. Cloud theme. 120 bucks, five stars. I'll take it. And then we've got the remove viruses, paint it pink, and put document reader on it. Five stars. Got rid of all the malware on my machine, and they even decked me out with a custom pink paint job. Heck yeah, we did. Heck yeah, we did. Let's read this thing from Uncle Tim. Says, salut. Just want to let you know I'm heading to Paris for a few days. An associate over there apparently has an unmissable trade opportunity. And nature element, I'm looking forward to absorbing some classic French culture while I'm there. And by culture, I mean wine. Just off to book the ticks now. Abiento, Uncle Tim. All right, well, Uncle Tim, you have fun on your vacation that I'm, somehow I feel like I might be funding. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep waiting on this one for a few days to see if we maybe hit a solid five stars. And these we are going to get to in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, the thumbs down button if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as a video goes live. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys, and I will see you in the next episode.